While we were in Los Berrias, we met with Chris, who runs East Cape Arts, and she told us about this little town that we drove through from La Paz to get to Los Berrias, and it's called San Antonio. And there's an art and cultural center. She gave us the name of Marsonia, who runs this place, and we thought, well, let's break up our trip. Since we have nowhere to be, let's go ahead and stop. And here we are, we're gonna go check it out. Plastic, uh, plaster of plaster. Plaster of Paris. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Uh -huh. Aha. In Spanish, it's called yeso. The lady that's there, she makes this. Buenas, comadre. Ratito le atiendo. Si, no, es que vinieron a que a una entrevista. Vamos a hacer una entrevista. All this is made by different people. We do. We have looms that are uh, that, that. This is how they make it. We also do this kind of work, and this is made by one of my, the other students, uh, a lady uh, for the Barbies, oh, okay. Hunter for the Barbies. <laughs> See? Okay. This bag's also made in the loop right here. We have looms. Yeah, uh, have you check it out? Come over here, and I'll show you. She also teaches. This, we have a, um, a lady who comes and shows us. She has taught us and we teach others. Her name is Seven. She has been uh, showing us. We have um, donated, we had that donated from uh, the Acid Crafts from uh, San um, Los Barriles when Joanne was alive, Hopkins. Mm -hmm. She was the president back then. This one is donated by, uh, by Seven from the states and uh, uh, this we call this the papa that's the mama yeah <laughs> this is the cousin that's another yeah. one that we have donated and seven has a little one that we call the baby <laughs> so uh, they teach us and uh, she had teaches us and we teach other persons the program that i'm working with this case is called uh building your future and those four kids from uh, 18 and up mm -hmm. my smallest one is her that's 90 another one is like 20 one is 24 and another is 25 is from 18 to 29 years and uh, 29 years old and this is to help the kids to do something with their lives not to just be home and kicking back they're not studying they're not working so there's a program that is called Jóvenes Construyendo el Futuro, which means youngsters are building the future. And the idea is for them to learn everything they can from uh, uh, arts and crafts. Like my neighbor back there, uh, he's a uh, wood, he works the wood. He also has five students. Mm -hmm. But he's telling me he's just, he's going back to La Paz, so I don't know how he's gonna work that out. Mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, we teach, uh, in my situation, they don't pay us, they pay them. A scholarship which is good and they also have a uh, medical attention if they need it and that's for years so I only have from uh, now I have to from here to July you know I, when this when they're teaching them it's over we should be in July I hope you guys around you can come in, in. July we might be you know so you can take photo because it's gonna be a closure and they get a, a diploma and that diploma is uh, is backed up from the government mm -hmm. that is that is paying them their uh, their scholarship and with that diploma they can find a job faster or they can start oh, their okay. own their own business because they will learn everything that I can teach them from here. Right. This yeah. one was done by my my granddaughter. I show her how to make candles. Oh, okay. We recycle this. They get to use a small uh, smell of it. She's nine years old. She made it when she was. <laughs> she just turned. I don't know if you get the smell. Mm. We're having troubles getting the scents. Mm -hmm. We we don't find the scents here. The scents they sell at the store is not that good. And other people make chili. That's chilies. Yeah. 
You don't want to eat that if you're not used to be <laughs> eating hot stuff. You would like it. So we also make dolls, um, bags, we have jewelry, and uh, we also look. Chris show us how to make these blouses uh, with the French, yeah. with the French, uh, uh, French, uh, how would you call this in English when you sew? Stitch. The, aha. Mm -hmm. yeah. this. We have a different, different ones. Look at this one. This is nice. We mm -hmm. like cats. <laughs> so they have, uh, and she also uh, gave us this with uh, identification of. This is all the the sewers. I'll show yeah, you. That's great. It's real nice. Let me let me. So you can see. Yeah, that's a great idea. She has self a, a lot. We I don't know what we would do without her look. Mm-hmm. That's nice, huh? Yeah. So um, we did send it the those so those this kind of mm -hmm. work from see this is from stuff that ladies donate. They donate yarn and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just a little piece, so they do this. You know? We try and uh, show them how to do something. See this is a pika pika. I don't know how you would call this. Octopus? No, the, uh, the style. The style. Yeah, I don't know. It's called. Um, it is cool. Magic needle in Spanish. Aguja magica. But that, yeah, that's. Similar. And they, they, they just go like this. But you gotta be real, real one after another. Because if you don't, you mm -hmm. take it out. Okay, let me show you my. Oh, this, uh, that's our, our kiln. Mm -hmm. And this kiln, I made it. I made this kiln. When I started, I used to go voluntary to the ranches. Oh, I made that. Cool. I brought from uh, the States the uh, the material to make it. And it was my first kiln. Mm -hmm. Where I was going to a different ranches to, to, to teach people voluntarily. So I, I, I love what I do. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with my work. Yeah. <laughs> so we do all kinds of stuff here. But right now we have a cook because we don't have for the gas money. No, I have the gas. So, um, the bake. Uh, but this all is ready to be burned. This is burned already. Have so see. you have, uh huh. But this stuff, other stuff is not. That's I don't um, know if they still do this stuff in the States. They did when I was growing up, but. Would be what? The pottery like this. Uh, in kindergarten. But I don't know if they do it anymore. Oh, so this is our shop and. This is what we have. That's great. How, how, what do you think about it? I love it. It's <laughs> cool. So you're welcome yeah. to come and, and you know, yeah. if you know something that the kids could learn, maybe you can come and teach. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
That was a bonus stop, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was a great stop. I'm really glad we did it and we found her. Yep. So we're going to make sure you have all the information if you are artistically inclined in any way or you want to learn some art that's local to Baja. Or you just want to buy cool stuff. Cool stuff. That's handmade. That's handmade. Super authentic, not stuff you find in the stores where they say it's handmade and then it ends up being from some factory in Vietnam or whatever. Yeah. This is totally legit. You buy it, you can even meet the artist who make it. So really cool stop here in San Antonio. Totally caught us off guard. So this is a, this is a little bonus story, but we're- Yeah, it's probably one of my favorites. Yep, so and we'll be back. She's, oh, There's sorry. a way to camp here. So if you're traveling in an RV or um, you wanna camp in any way here in San Antonio, a couple options. She even opened up her house to us. Um, she's got a little spare casita. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's available for donation, or you can actually camp behind the uh, cultural center, and that's available for donation. Yep. If you can't see Lindsay right now, it's because there's a big ear in the way. <laughs> I'm going to push it down. <laughs> so this is San Antonio, which is almost halfway between La Paz and Los, Los Barrios. Barrios. Yep. And it's at the turning point to go to La Ventana or to come from La Ventana mm -hmm. if you're headed toward Los Barrios. So it's a really good point um, for stopping. It's a must stop. Yeah, must stop. The town itself is small. It's colonial. It's got uh, cobblestone streets. There's a cool Old little mission. Buildings, yeah. Yeah. So the town itself is worth just a quick stop. And there is a Pemex if you need fuel. I don't think they had diesel. But other than that, it's a really small town, and uh, we do look forward to coming back here at some point and sharing more of the story and the engagement that we have. For sure, and, and probably participating in. Most likely participating in making something. Lindsay's gonna be an so, artist. Yeah. I'm I'm a guy. Guys aren't no, guys, we're not, you can do guys it. Guys aren't artistic. Yes, you can. No. You are artistic. No, I'm not. You're all You're making me blush on camera. <laughs> She's making me blush. <laughs> Alright, so this is a bonus video for you. I have no idea when you'll see it or how you'll see it or any of that stuff. Um, but we want you to see this because if you're coming down to Baja, particularly down to Los Barrios, you've gotta stop here. And be and a part of what's going on. If you have old paint brushes, art supplies, yarn, even if it's used, whatever, they need it. Bring it down with you. Give it to Marizonia. And she appreciates it. Even if you don't have stuff like that, anything. They'll take anything. And she makes sure that it goes to someone in need. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So this yes. is a cool drop-off point for anything from food to clothing. Um, anything that can help people they will make sure it gets out to the ranchitos and the surrounding community to get to people who are in need. Really great woman, really great organization, really awesome find that, yeah. again, one of those ones we never would have known to look for. Nope. Um, but Chris at East Cape Arts hooked us up. So we are going to head out of here and, uh, and leave you with the thought that you need to plan to come here at some point. One day, two days, three days, four days. A week, a month, you can host your own art activities if, if you're great at art. Um, but definitely you want to plan to stop here. You called me artistic. <laughs> you are. Just because I have pretty handwriting? <laughs> you are. You are creative. I'm creative. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> the good wife. <laughs>